Okay, YouTubers, my name is Carl, and I'm going to do a review of my Buffalo Electric Skateboard today, and I'm going to take it for a little ride. This is the board itself. The deck is really cool. It's got some good grip tape on it. It's got these nice little upturned flares where your feet go. Um, I'm kind of disappointed with the build quality of this board. Let me flip it over for you here. This is the battery pack. That's, uh, that's flexible. It's actually... Um, got quite a lot of flex in, in the bed of the board, which is really cool. Um, the bearings, to me, are kind of cheap. I've already felt some grinding in the forward bearings. Also, the bumpers on the trucks are fairly cheap. The handling is not near what you would expect it to be on an $800 board. Also, in the earlier boards, like this one is, this is one of the first releases, the motors have a tendency to rattle a lot. Now, the company claims that it doesn't affect the performance of the board whatsoever. They asked $100 a piece for the new style motors, which do not rattle. I think that's ridiculous considering I paid $700 for this. So I'm not going to upgrade until it's absolutely necessary. These motors are belt driven. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. This is your power button here. There's a switch right here that goes between single motor. Turn the remote on takes a second to pair up. Okay, it's paired, that's single motor mode, and this is dual motor mode. And there's also a hyper mode. If you take the remote and you turn it off, and then you push it all the way forward, hold it, and turn it back on, the lights blink three times and now it's in hyper mode. You can tell a difference here. You get a much higher top speed out of the motors. Um, once again, motor quality is cheap, bearing quality is cheap, the wheels themselves actually ride really nicely. I've hit some pretty good size, um, you know, like chuck holes, rocks, things like that, and they seem to uh, just deflect the rocks off, and and you you can travel over the bumps with uh, pretty good ease. You know, I was a little concerned about the motor configuration. A lot of these boards have the motors to the reverse of the trucks, and they stick up higher. I noticed I'm starting to get some, you know, road strikes or gravel strikes here along. The, uh, the support metal that holds the, the motor, um, I guess this is the bracket for the motor, holds the motor and then you know transfers the power to the wheels. So I'm a little concerned that if I get a big strike on one of these motors that it might actually damage it. Um, so anyway, I've got it still set in hyper mode. How the remote works is it's analog. The harder you push forward, the faster it goes and the harder you pull back the harder it breaks now if you were to shove this all the way to break while you're cruising down the road the board will come to a complete halt and throw you off so um you have to be real judicious with your acceleration and with your braking anyway i'm going to make a half ass attempt to ride this thing down the road and actually video what it's like to be on it I've never made an attempt to hold the phone and to video at the same time, but the remote's held in one hand, and uh, I'm free to hold something in the other hand, so here goes. I'm going to be riding through the historic town of Dillsborough on the back roads here today. I've got to walk up here to the road, and I'm going to walk across the railroad tracks because obviously you can't ride a skateboard across railroad tracks. So, got to go a little ways here. Now I don't have a selfie stick or a gimbal or anything like that, so this is going to be quite jerky. But you guys will get the idea. Here in the state of North Carolina, um, Article 131.17b of the state laws allows you to ride an alternative electric vehicle provided it does not go any faster than 20 miles an hour on the roads in North Carolina provided it's not a highway or a freeway. So anyway, let me get set up here. It's a good idea to keep your feet placed in the exact locations they give you, although I keep my forward foot turned just a little bit. And here we go. Acceleration is quite phenomenal. You can get going pretty fast, and if you're not careful, you can get injured pretty quickly. There is a learning curve, like anything. You know, I've rode skateboards my whole life, and uh, this thing is just a little bit different. We're pretty close to maximum speed here. Get 
a little wobbly at this speed, like I said with the bumpers. They just don't function quite as good as I think they should. But the handling is, is pretty tight. It's pretty tight. So anyway, come to a stop here. This is the board braking itself. Take off again. Up here, I'm gonna have to get on the sidewalks because I don't want to go out in the main street. To get an idea of what it sounds like and what it's doing on a rough surface. I'm in about a 10% grade here right now. Anyway, I'm running on the sidewalk here, so I'm going to uh, stop and walk across this bridge, and I'll continue the video on the other side.